Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Crusader Kings. Uh, I'm uh, a little under the weather at the moment, but I <laughs> um, I don't really have that much time to record, so I have to take the uh, opportunities that I have, even if I'm not feeling the greatest. So if I'm a little bleh, or I'm a little bleh, or I'm a little wah, then that would be why. So, last time... Oh... Last time we... Inherited... Egypt from our daddy pants. I, I believe we killed him. I don't remember. It has been like a week since I've played. Lots of things going on. Anyway, we are sorting out our realm, it looks like, because I'm an OCD idiot. We're going to easily win this war. Go ahead and unpause. This guy, this lady owes us a favor. Uh, oh, right. This was the person that we made. My wife is pregnant. Neat. This was the person that we made Marshall, and it was good. And then we inherited, and he stopped being Mar- And she, sorry, she stopped being Marshall. I introduced that guy to that guy, hoping they would get along, but they didn't. What is our assassin's mission? It's to convert Booeria. Boo area, boo area, to Shia. It is currently Myophysite. Fair enough. Our domain is suddenly not good enough because apparently Daddy Cakes built a temple. That's okay. And we lost Cherubal. That is unfortunate. Counts as discontent because of inheritance. Yes. Another courtier had a baby. I guess we can go ahead and fill out our court chaplain position. I'm not entirely sure why I haven't decided to. Hmm. Okay, so my wife's worried people in my realm lack judgment, and I haven't chosen a chief Kadi yet to take care of legal matters. She recommends her friend Victor here. I'm sure. Why not? We also still need a court physician. We're just going to pick. Uh, probably not you, since you hate me. We'll go ahead and pick you. Even though you have cancer. It's fine, I'm sure. My marshal initiated a massive recruitment drive in Cairo. Neat. Speed 3. I am happy that I managed to get my decadence down effectively. I was a little concerned about that when I first saw it at the start of the game. Like, ooh, he has a 65 decadence. Especially because, like, my daddy cakes held an entire kingdom. Had he become decadent, or he gave a lot of land to a decadent child, it could have become problematic. Fortunately, we solved that. We solved that like an episode ago, but still. Okay, so what exactly do I want to do here? I want to take these two provinces so that he only has the uh, Duchy of Aswan. Which is bigger than I thought it was. But that's okay. That's fine. And then we're going to go ahead and give these provinces, if we can, to other people. Okay. That happened. Whatever that was. I didn't really read it, honestly. <laughs> we'll give these two provinces to other people, and then we'll give the entire duchy to one of these four people. Whoever I think would make the best person 
And you're going to see me doing that a lot. I did that over here with, uh... Sirencia... Sirenacia. Siren... Ica. Siren... Ica? Uh, whatever. The Duchy of Things. Here we go. Things... Thing... Ian. There. The Emirate of Things. Just the other day, caught my wife... Oh. Caught my wife with a sheik. <laughs> I was, wait, wait, wait a second, you caught your wife with another wife? Uh, I mean, I don't see the problem, he's a hedonist. I'll expose them, why not? Hmm. Well, yeah, there are whispers that he is sleeping with this guy because you caught him sleep, you caught her sleeping with this guy. I guess I should have confronted him. Hmm. <laughs> I still have my doubts. <laughs> what do you mean you still have your doubts? You caught them red-handed. <laughs> um, oh my, excuse me. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. I'll talk to his spouse. If I'm going to ruin a marriage, I might as well ruin two marriages. Promises look into the matter, okay? My marshal has joined a faction. He desires the Emirate of Things. I could probably give him the Emirate of Things. Sure. Here. Presents from me. And now you caught who and who? The same sheik. Yes. Sleeping with another woman. I see. You know what? Let's get some money out of it. There we go. And now, what is... Come on. Stop sleeping with everyone. Ooh, he's Andalusian. I did, was not aware of this. I'll go ahead and forgive that, because I don't want this guy to be mad at me. Because I'm going to want to... Educate his child, so that he becomes e proper <laughs> Egyptian. And of your die of poor health. Okay. We can fill out some commander slots. Well, we can fill out one commander slot. We'll go ahead and pick that guy. Oh, good. Now well, my wife is pregnant with another kid. Another man's kid, even. I'm not particularly concerned. Well, I'm Muslim. Which means, actually, the fewer sons I have, the less chaotic things are going to be. And I have a lot of sons. We'll go ahead and hire someone out to find out. This Persia, though. Wow. How many troops do you have? 16, 17,000. Ah, it's like... It's a couple. Confirm my suspicions that... Yes, this is high treason. So... My realm has a bit of a problem. And that problem is big and Persian. I have this realm right beside me with a huge army. 19,000 men. Well, if he removes a hired troops from that count, then he has, like, 16,000 men. Regardless, 
He has a lot of dudes. And I most certainly do not have a lot of dudes. Uh, we're also different religions. And because we're Muslims, well, no, it's not a Muslim thing. I guess every religion has holy war cast a spell against other religions in this game. So what I mean to say is because we're different religions, he could swoop in and attack me at any time. Any time he wanted. Whoops, I forgot to do that. Army. It's too busy looking around the world. Okay, my friend here has uh, gotten us some tech points. I believe he is also the Grand Master of the Assassins. Yes. Yep, 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 that happened. I'm sort of disappointed by this. I really had hoped that there would be more exciting things to do with the assassins, but that's okay. It's still, I mean, hmm, what am I trying to say? I don't know. It's still an enjoyable sect. It's good enough, but I do wish he is being educated by an Egyptian. Egyptian? Yes, an Egyptian. Oh, hey! This event... I'm studying in the Great Order Library when this guy appeared and, uh... taunts and... comments at me. And I'm all, oh, I'm going to challenge him to a duel. And he's either going to win, lose, or draw, and then we're going to be for come friends. Right? Sometime now, my first wife has been avoiding me. She has not visited my bedchamber in several weeks, and I have demanded to know why she has given me nothing but feeble excuses. Today, I overheard a couple of servants gossiping. They say she has confronted, confronted, and had a duel with syphilis, and lost. I can either throw her in jail, go and help her, 60% chance that she will gain an extra health. 40% chance she will gain lose 0.5 health. And I have a 30% chance of getting kind. And, or I could just ignore it. I like kind. So I'm going to try to become kind. I did not become kind. And she has worse health now. It's fine, I'm sure. Oh hey, a duel at midday. With daggers. I wonder who's going to win. Oh, hey, look at that. We became friends. Shocking everybody. And now he's being educated by a Levantine. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that. Have I explained... Hold on. Pause again. Have I explained how educating children has changed. I don't remember if I have or not. And if I haven't, then this will be a good thing. And if I have, then, well, I'm just going to repeat myself because I've never done that before. Anyway, so there are now childhood traits that you can learn. And you learn them from, well, throughout your entire childhood. And they make you more inclined towards certain educations. So a recent patch has had the traits appear here. So a conscientious child would be a good stewardship education, but an idolizer would not be so much. And education comes in two parts. At age six, you give them a sort of focus, which is this here, and that'll sort of nudge them along in the right path until age 12, and at age 12, you give them an education focus, of another education focus, and this sort of, I don't know, specializes them a bit. So here's 
Princess Asinette. And she's timid, and she's an idolizer, and she's conscientious. Well, that wouldn't make her a good martial person. Wouldn't really have any drawbacks to any of these. But it would also, it would make her a good uh, learning person. Now, learning is stupid. Unless, well, there are f certain ways that learning can be useful. But I'm not ex practicing in any of them at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a diplomatic, a diplomacy focus. I think I just sort of mulled over that before. And I'm also going to have her educated by somebody who actually knows diplomacy, which is not me. Okay, our heir here, despite our incredible intrigue, seems to benefit mostly from a martial education. His martial skill is actually not that bad for a 12-year-old. We'll go ahead and do that. Maybe he won't join the assassins? Oh, we'll join the assassins. And we'll have the woman who used to be our martial train. <laughs> We can imprison two of our wives because they both cheated on me. Okay, let's go ahead and unpause the game. I just wanted to briefly cover that. I'm sure it's fine. He's losing, but he won't give up yet. I always imagine I would be the first of us to go, but now I'm the one mourning the departure of my dear friend. Okay, he was somebody in the Assassins, I believe. Lost in the essential part of myself, I feel so powerless. I could distance myself from all of my friends. That's a terrible idea. Or I could party and be an idiot. Oh, we'll party and be an idiot. And I became a drunkard. Well, I'm not sure what I expected. <laughs> not sure what I expected at all. Okay, let's go ahead and speed the game up a little bit. Get this war over with so that we can actually progress. Don't don't worry about those noises. They're fine. I'm sure. It's just the dog barking. And the cat meowing. I don't know if you could hear the cat meowing or not. I don't know how sensitive these my mic really is. Honestly. Sometimes I believe it's more sensitive uh, than other times, and other times I feel it's less sensitive. Okay, as I... As I'm beating a rabid dog in the yard, <laughs> Mumar runs up to me and starts hitting me with a stick. What? I'm sorry? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Don't beat the rabbit dog. I'll beat you with a stick. So I could beat him up and he'll become haughty, or... I'll, I'll beat him up and make him haughty. Why not? As I turned, the dog bit me in the ankle, and Mumar managed to get away. I see. And we've become rivals. Introduced Kavda here. Kavad. Sorry. To Mayor Sharif of the Shore, but they didn't become friends. That's reasonable. Okay, well, I'm going to cut this episode short here and figure out what the heck those dogs are barking with. I will be back, but until then. Happy gaming. I uh, we got didn't get much done today, but uh, I, I can't I can't put up with a dog barking and doing this. So, bye.